Hello, I've just been reading a book that traditional Catholics would probably enjoy. It's called Lord of the World by R. H. Benson. Benson was part of the Catholic intellectual revival which happened in England from about 1840 onwards with first Newman and Manning and then there was the journalist Wilfred Maynell and then there was Benson and then at the end of it were Chesterton, Belloc and some stellar Jesuits, Father Martin Dale, Father Darcy, Father Caraman. And it all seems to have come to an end round about, I suppose, 1965 or so. Benson was the son of a famous family. His father was Archbishop of Canterbury. And so his conversion to the Roman Catholic Church was a scandal. The book was written in 1907 and it describes the future a century on from then. So I suppose it's about now and it's in some ways remarkably prescient. There's a European government with a European parliament and a European president. Atheistic humanism has pretty much taken over. And when the story begins, there's just been established a world government under a world leader and they institute a, a new world humanist secular religion. So Christianity needs to be stamped out. Well, by the time of the story, it's pretty much died anyway, apart from the Roman Catholic Church. And it very much is a Roman Catholic Church in the pre-Vatican II mould. It's that very confident Roman Catholic Church that flourished after the First Vatican Council, which declared papal infallibility. And it also saw the revival of Gregorian chant. It was a very uh, vigorous time for the Catholic Church. So there we have it in the story, the Catholic Church is the sole upholder and defender of Christianity, led by a Pope who's the Vicar of Christ on earth. It's very impressive, I think. Some other interesting things about the book are the predictions. He's quite good on air travel and electric trains and there's a very nice description of the flight deck of one of these aircraft. They've got both flapping wings and screws. I can't quite see how that would work. But anyway, uh, the only difficulty with the book is that there's quite a lot of Latin and quotes from the Latin liturgy, but that would be fine for somebody who's a traditional Catholic. There's quotes from things like the Tantum Ergo and the Pange Lingua from the liturgy of the Feast of Corpus Christi and there's a Blessed Sacrament Adoration and these very typically Roman Catholic devotions. So if you're a traditional Catholic and you've got a liking and feeling for these things, I suggest you get hold of a copy of the book. It's worth a read.